worried about it. Joining me right now, American Majority CEO Ned Ryan and Democratic strategist Robin Bureau. Ned, how'd that happen? It seemed like they were trailing in the money thing, and now all of a sudden they get a billion dollars there? Well, I mean, the DNC has been definitely trailing the RNC uh, in, in fundraising. But, you know, there's, at, at, at American Majority, we train that uh, money is the mother's milk of politics, and you need it from school board to statewide. And so, of course, Republicans should be a little concerned. A billion dollars is a billion dollars. But I would add this to qualify it, Trish. Mm -hmm. That's spread out over 13,000 candidates and causes, meaning it's an average of 76,000. And I got to tell you, 76,000 doesn't get you very far in a congressional race. The other thing to remember, too, about Act Blue, it primarily funds progressive and resistance uh, candidates, far left candidates and causes, which leads me to my next point. At American Majority, we also train money doesn't make an ugly baby pretty. And if you cannot connect with voters, if they are not buying what you're selling, you can have all the money in the world and it won't matter. And you I think what, what we, Those but the Democrats are there, selling. Alexandria, you know, the, the woman from Queens, she's, she's selling something. And the scary thing, I mean, frankly, for the country, Robin, right. is that people are buying it. And that's bad for yeah. your party and it's bad for the country. I, I think ultimately they won't when push comes to shove. But... You saw the success that Sanders had, and now here comes she. Oh, yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, my good friend Jamie Harrison is associate director of the DNC, uh, and I questioned him about this, and his explanation to me was that they're running candidates in areas that are specific uh, to those, uh, how do I say this? They're like, she's a super liberal candidate in a very liberal area. We run very conservative Democratic candidates in red states. That's a very winning strategy for us. So, you know, it's no surprise. I'm also not surprised that Obama did not support Ocasio-Cortez. Mm -hmm. um, Ned, what's going what's to happen with the so-called blue wave? Well, so I, I, I'm still not convinced it's going to happen. I, I still think Republicans can keep the House. I think they can actually pick up seats in the Senate. But I think 2018 and 2020, Trish, are real, a, a real decision point for the American people. They are being confronted with socialism starting to become acceptable to many inside the Democratic Party. And it's going to be a discussion, do we want socialism? And people say, well, we don't want Venezuelan socialism. We want Canadian socialism. We no, want it's Swedish still socialism. socialism. I'm sorry, it's, it's socialism. socialism. I don't right. care. There's and, no, like, different version of it. And you know what? Exactly. Uh, here's what I'll tell you. You know, Denmark, lovely place, very small population. Uh, right. Very different, less diverse than, the, you know, we have many different people with many different backgrounds here. We are a large country. Uh, you know, Denmark is some kind of utopia for these folks. But I'll tell you, I know a lot of people from there, and they don't like it either. They, they don't like paying, yeah. you know, that much in taxes. And you wonder how much better the country would be off if people actually had a shot. And, Robin, you're not, you're like my favorite Democrat, I got to tell you. <laughs> you always I love agree you, with Trish. Me. Love you. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you think? Dem's going to take uh it? Oh, I think the blue wave is going to come. And uh, let me tell you specifically why I think that. There was a poll that just came out, a uh, joint poll from the Wall Street Journal and NBC, that indicated that uh, the true swing voters, voters who dislike both parties, right. are now supporting Democrats by a 30 percent margin. Trump carried okay. those we'll see. By, All right. by and large okay. in we'll 2016. Because, you know, I mean, polls, I feel like I can't even quote them anymore, given what oh, just I know. happened in 16. I agree anyway, with good you. to see you guys. Ned. Robin, Thanks, thank Trish. you so you much. Uh, quick you. reminder, I'm uh, filling in for my friend Neil Cavuto on Your World Today on Fox News Channel.